And here it is. That's a Hadoui. It's a sacred ceremonial mask. Yes, it's powerful artwork, isn't it? It's not art, you have to take that down. The scene where Bailey and James's family argue about cultural appropriation, that was a really tough one to write. This went through many drafts. Three writers, myself included, took many passes at this scene. Tracy always weighs into every draft with notes. All these different cultures, they don't exist in these little vacuums. Like, you only care about white stuff, you know? And I only care about native stuff. I mean, I can care about your stuff too, and you can care about my stuff. Bailey meets James's family, and she's very nervous. And what if they're racist and don't want James dating a native girl? Or maybe I'll get the old, yay for you, you don't pay taxes. And then I'll have to explain everything yet again, and they'll end up hating me for it. I think we can all relate to being nervous about meeting our our boyfriend or our girlfriend's family. But there was a whole nother level here for her um, about being different than them, fear of being judged, and also fitting in. My first thought when I read season five scripts was that they were heavy, especially for Bailey's character. You don't get to tell me how I feel. It might be fun for white women to dress up as Pocahontas for Halloween, but for me, it's about the erasure of my culture. It's the most serious content that I've really taken on through this journey, so I was excited for it, and I really, I really appreciated and loved the storyline that they wrote. Hey there, uh, we are at a beautiful home in Shadagi filming the big dinner scene with James's family where Bailey is trying to fit in. Is it gonna work? To, to come to this wall and see, because uh, when you turned, it was you were right in front of the map. The challenge we had with that scene was that we wanted to provoke a confrontation on the topic of cultural appropriation, but we didn't want to do the actual faux pas. Obviously, we were not going to use an actual sacred mask. I had many talks with our production designer, Donna Noonan, who's also an Indigenous person. We hired a sculptor and we made it as a part of our production. The mask you're seeing up there is actually not a sacred Hadoui mask. It was something we created in order to make the point we wanted to make. Cultural appropriation is not flattering! Many of the girls have moments where they get to make these big statements. They get to stand up either for themselves or for their people or their culture. I love those moments because, I mean, they're really, they're saying things that I want to say and maybe have said and I get to say again through the show. That's satisfying for me.